All right, everybody, we're here in Savannah, Georgia with my entire family, at least 17 of us. Happy Thanksgiving and happiness is a lifestyle. Yay! Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. Time for a road trip. Mm -hmm. We got about a seven hour drive ahead of us, but we're going to Savannah for Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Just reached about our halfway point, which means we're up near Daytona Beach, and that means we got about three and a half more hours to go. It's been a pretty good drive so far, right, Juan Carlos? Yeah, kind of see some of the uh, Florida Fall. <laughs> yeah, Florida of... Fall, we're seeing some of the color of the leaves on the trees changing. 68 degrees outside right now. It's Juan Carlos chilly. is wearing shorts, so our next stop, you might have to put some pants on. Now we're trying to make our way there. We're not really stopping and staying anywhere. We're just kind of grabbing and go, eating in the car uh, so that we can get up to Savannah. All right, we're doing we'll keep well. you post posted. We'll see you next in Savannah. <laughs> so Juan Carlos and I are here in Savannah, Georgia. And we are sitting in our favorite park here in Savannah. And Savannah's filled with squares. And this is Lafayette Square. It is. This is Lafayette Square. As you can see, there's a beautiful fountain behind us. And directly in front of us is a big, beautiful basilica that's here in Savannah. And one of the reasons we love this park is just it's very quiet. The sound of the fountain. It's the first park that when I brought you to Savannah for the first time, this was the first park that you and I came to and walked around and yeah. you can hear the church bell. What's in? <laughs> Another reason why we love it. And then if I pan the camera up you can see the park is completely surrounded with live oak and the Spanish moss hanging down. Just absolutely beautiful. And you see the little horse and carriages going around. I'm going to share with you a little bit of the history of Lafayette Square um, and it is it's along a Abercorn Street and it was created in 1837 and it is named for the Marquis de Lafayette who was a Frenchman and he served as Washington's aide back during the Civil War and uh, he visited Savannah in 1825 and he was very highly regarded by the local citizens here in Savannah, so they therefore named the square after him. And in 1983, they erected a monument in the center of the square, and instead of doing what a lot of the squares have, statues and things of that, they actually put a fountain in the center of the square, and it was to commemorate the 250th anniversary of the founding of the Georgia colony. So there's a little history for you about Lafayette. Cool? Cool. Cool. And we're in Lafayette Square. Check out this car coming behind us. Beautiful. Nice. So we wanted to point out directly behind us is the Hamilton House. And a little known fact about the Hamilton House here. And if you go to Disneyland, California, and you look at the Haunted Mansion, you will notice that the influences of the Haunted Mansion architecture are from this particular home here in Savannah, Georgia. Very interesting. A little known history fact for all of you. And who doesn't love a white carriage drawn by a horse? I love it. You love it, Juan Carlos? I do. All right. So we are now down on River Street in Savannah. We just parked the car. We're going to go find a little place for lunch. Mm -hmm. Almuerzo. And one of the other things we're going to do is go to the candy shop because they sell chocolate covered pretzels that Juan Carlos absolutely loves. So we got to get do. those every time we come to Savannah. It's a but, must. Uh, yeah, we love River Street. All right, so we have stopped for lunch here on River Street. We decided to try Huey's. It's actually a little New Orleans themed restaurant. So we're each getting a po' boy. He's getting a beef po' boy and I'm getting a shrimp po' boy. But we have a nice view right here on the river. So we'll show you our view. All right, there's Juan Carlos's roast beef po' boy. And there's my shrimp po' boy. Okay, so we just finished our lunch here at Huey's. 
food was really good. It was a really good day. Yeah, so if you're looking for sort of a New Orleans themed lunch spot, and they <laughs> yeah, big sandwiches. And they also serve beignets here, just like you can get in Cafe de Bon over there in New Orleans. You can get them right here at Huey's. But we didn't have one because we're a little full. All right, so we're going to go actually buy some sweets at River Street Sweets. Yeah. Bubbles. Bubbles. So no stop to Savannah is complete unless we make a stop where? At the River Street Sweets Candy Store. Absolutely. They have your favorite... Um, chocolate covered pretzels right oh yes not just chocolate but what kind of chocolate white chocolate. white chocolate covered pretzels he loves them and therefore I love them, get them. <laughs> and we're gonna get them so let's go inside we'll show you hello would you like a praline sample who would not want a praline sample you'd be surprised quite, quite a lot of people look at that go Beautiful. for it mm -hmm. really good you gotta love candy coated pralines, right? You got it. Sweet and yummy. All right, let's go get our chocolate covered pretzels. Thank you. Our other favorite treat here. <laughs> so while we were inside, my mother happened to call and she reminded me how much she loves pralines, candy coated pralines. So, so we picked up a whole entire pound of those. So yeah, mama's gonna be happy. And then they're due a special right now, so if you buy a pound, you get a half pound free. So here's the big box of uh, <laughs> lots of pralines. And we got a dozen of the uh, white chocolate pretzels. So that should satisfy our sweet tooth for a while, yeah? For one day, maybe. Oh, one day? That's it? <laughs> Listen to Juan Carlos. What are you doing? You gonna show us what's in there? Let's look. Look at the yumminess. This oh, is a wow. Brain. Yeah. Good stuff. Juan Carlos is excited. Why? Because you gotta love this tree. Why do we gotta love it? Because it's beautiful. And it's got the full colors that I love so much. Very good. And look. Our little buddy up there. Oh, he leaned. <laughs> That's a squirrel. We like squirrels. And then right behind us is the world famous Yas Queen. Yas Queen, <laughs> yeah. The Savannah River Queen. We featured that in another video. We'll put a link up here. You can check it out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we love the Savannah hey, River Queen. Queen. We've actually never been on the River Queen. We have to do it. Maybe we'll do it one day. We'll take you guys with us. Let us know. Give us some comments down below, too. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. We love reading the comments, and we love responding to all of you who watch. So we really appreciate all of you. And as we're going into Thanksgiving, we're very thankful for all of you. Very, right? Yeah, very thankful. Thank exactly. you very much. All right, let's keep going. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Juan Carlos and I are at my sister's house up here in Savannah. You can see behind us a gigantic table. We have 17, 17 people. 17 yeah. people for Thanksgiving dinner. And as we always say, happiness is a lifestyle. And one of the biggest things that makes us happy is what? Family. We love being with our family. And we're so blessed to be with our family today on this special day. And we're going to have a great time. I'm not going to be invasive with the family, so you're not going to see a lot of footage of them. But I'll show you a little bit. Because we really want to just enjoy ourselves with the family. But we're very thankful for all of you on this Thanksgiving as well. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. Yeah, it means the world to us. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Thanksgiving. What you doing, Chan? <laughs> Making cream corn. Yum. Carving turkey. Carve it, Steven. Yes. Steve. I think you should carve it. Steven's going to carve the turkey. No, it's your house. You get to carve it, Steven. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Look at that. The bird. Oh, we're going into the cavity. Oh. Oh, my God. Papa Ragu's making a roux. The roux for the gravy. The roux. It's a, looking good. It's a food of love thing. That's one of the things my father loves doing the most at Thanksgiving is making the roux well, and the gravy. Being in the kitchen. He loves to my be in the kitchen. Favorite place in the whole house. It makes him happy. And you know what? It makes me happy because he does good work in the kitchen. And then we got potato gate going on over here, Susan. Hi. Caitlin. Look at those mashed potatoes. It's creamy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So Juan Carlos, watch his face, everybody. You ready? Look what's in this bowl. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 
dun, dun. That's my favorite. <laughs> I wait like I wait all year just for that. Pretty good. So I cannot have enough of that. And I won't. <laughs> This is green bean casserole. It's the best dish. It's the only thing I came for. Yeah. Show me again. All mine. You get like one bite. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe if I haven't eaten it all. Looks good. Looks very good. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. You on the pressure. Look at that. Perfect. So what we have here is gallo pinto. A our, slice of Costa Rica. Yeah, our traditional food from Costa Rica that we've been bringing for the last four years mm -hmm. in celebration of both you and I. Yeah. So yeah, it's nice we make that so that we have a little bit of Costa Rica mixed in with our American holiday and salsa lisano, of course, from Costa Rica. Part of yummy. the flavor. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. A happy Thanksgiving from Savannah, Georgia, and my entire family. I left my favorite for the very end. Okay, y'all so. need to fix it. Oh, it's a glove stuck in my shirt. Yeah, the sweet potato casserole to die for. Absolutely. What an amazing meal we've had with a great time with the family. 17 of us. 17 people. Certainly makes me happy. Happiness is a lifestyle! Yay! <laughs> so we are now standing out in the side yard of my sister's house here in Savannah, Georgia. It's the day after Thanksgiving, and we are certainly very thankful, as we said yesterday, for all of you watching. And we wanted to take a moment and uh, just share another little interesting thing with all of you. Uh, directly over Juan Carlos's shoulder, right here, I'm pointing, you can see it. This is a new tree that was planted uh, this past year, and the tree was planted by my sister Shannon and the family up here in Savannah in honor of my sister Jennifer, who unfortunately passed away a year ago Christmas. And this is one of the tributes that we as a family have done uh, in her honor. And as we're approaching the one year anniversary date of her passing, uh, we we as a family are choosing to really celebrate her life and we continue to do that uh, as difficult as that is and that's one of those challenges that we face and sticking with the mantra of our ch channel being happiness is a lifestyle uh, you may find your own challenges out there and you may have your own things to overcome uh, but for myself and Juan Carlos and the rest of my family we choose to focus on the great memories that we had with my sister. We are honoring her with this beautiful tree that we planted here in the yard in her memory. And we are gonna celebrate like crazy come Christmas mm -hmm. in her memory. Uh, but we wanted to share that with you because uh, it's important for you to know that. But we also wanna say thank you very much for watching, as always. Happiness what do they need to do? It's a lifestyle. Yeah, Juan Carlos said it. Happiness is a lifestyle. And what they need to do is subscribe. Yeah, please do it. Hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, you know, hit the bell icon, get notified when we upload these videos. And uh, we hope you had a great holiday, and we'll see you real soon. Ciao.